When Trinity High School students went to bed Sunday night, they expected to wake up Monday to a normal week. Now they're not sure if they'll ever be back in their building. Marissa DeCandido walked through the fire damaged school today. Marissa? Monica, it really was eerie. There was no power in the building and debris and burned textbooks were scattered on the floor. But oddly enough, some of the pictures on the walls were untouched and there was extensive smoke and water damage throughout the building. From the outside, it looks like nothing has changed at Trinity High School. This is the uh, main foyer of Dickinson Trinity High School. But inside, nothing is the same. It's really hard for me to believe. I feel as if on Monday I'm just going to go back to Trinity and everything will be back to normal. Um, it's not going to be. And it just, Monday will be diff very, very difficult. While administrators are now allowed back in the building, many teachers haven't seen the damage. They are very devastated and this is very emotional. This is, this is not just a, a, a workplace. Uh, Trinity High School is a, is a family and this is their home. There's no estimate yet on the financial loss this fire caused, but the real cost is emotional. And I've had family graduate from Trinity, um, my dad did. And growing up, knowing that I would be graduating, walking across the same stage they did, and then now realizing that that's not going to happen, um, it's, it's heartbreaking. It was really hard because all the last things that you look forward to doing in there, you're not going to be able to anymore. Bishop David Kagan, along with Dickinson Catholic Schools, says the fire won't stop Trinity from educating its students and staying connected. The circumstances of how uh, this came to be uh, is um, be beyond our understanding right now. And our, our focus is to uh, get back uh, to teaching our kids. While the fire destroyed most of the school's lobby, a few things that remained intact were a picture of Pope Francis and a crucifix. It takes a lot to break a Titan family like this. Uh, we're Titan strong and I mean, a little fire isn't gonna change that. Um, the school might be damaged, but the spirit of the school and the faculty, students, all the people that donate their time to the school, they're not just going to walk away from this. They're going to get stronger. We're going to get stronger together. Monsignor Schumacher says the Trinity community will never forget this Ash Wednesday. But out of the ashes, students and faculty will rebuild. The building is insured for $17 million. Bishop Kagan will tour the school on Friday to assess the damage. Trinity Principal Thomas Sander has been charged with starting the fire. And in just two days, Trinity faculty, staff, and administration, in conjunction with the Dickinson Public Schools, have come up with a strategy to relocate and teach more than 250 junior high and high school students. The logistics of the plan are a work in progress, but come Monday, the final quarter of the 2014 school year will begin at four different buildings. Several hundred Catholic school parents, students, teachers, and administrators crammed into Queen of Peace Church to sing, worship, and pray on Ash Wednesday. The beginning of Lent wasn't the only reason so many of the faithful attended Mass. After the service, a majority of the congregation remained in their pews to get answers to a litany of questions that are causing them great concern. All we can say right now is what the law enforcement has said as they continue their investigation and as they prepare for trial. Beginning next week, junior high students will attend Prairie Rose Elementary. Ninth graders will be taught at Berg Elementary. Sophomores will blend into Hagen Middle School and Trinity juniors and seniors will finish high school in the Pine Room of St. Joseph's Catholic Church. I can say my kids yesterday were nervous and wondering what was going to happen and, and today I just got to talk to a couple of them and, and you know what, they, they realized that things will go on and they still will have the things that they're used to, maybe in a different way. Monsignor Schumacher says the redistribution of several hundred students would never have been possible without the cooperation and support of Dickinson Public Schools. We have a common destiny and when your neighbor's in need, we reach out to each other and do what we can to help. And that's all that's going on here and I'm confident that if the roles were reversed, Dickinson Catholic Schools would be helping us. Students signed off on the emergency plan, but not without some reservations. 
I'm scared because we're going to be in different buildings. I don't know how we're going to stay connected with all the grades because I have friends in every class. The one question that no one had an answer for was why someone would want to destroy Trinity High School and turn these students' lives upside down. If it turns out that he did actually cause it, um, there will be definitely a lot of hurt and anger. Um, in time, we'll, we'll learn to forgive. But as of right now, it's, it's not the easiest thing to do. An application to waive the school days that will be missed this week has been sent to the Department of Public Instruction. And beginning Monday, Trinity students and teachers will begin to write the final chapter of the 2014 school year. Dickinson State University is providing desks for all the students relocated to new buildings. And there will be open houses for parents and students this Sunday at all the temporary classrooms. Monica? It's not home, but Prairie Rose Elementary students did their best to help their new Trinity classmates. The students and staff have been really welcoming and um, it's been hard, but um, we're Titans and we're going to stay strong. And the Trinity Junior High students say they're adjusting well to their new school. We've had a great day so far. We're trying to reestablish our routine and to keep in mind that we've lost a building, but we haven't lost our identity. It wasn't all smooth sailing, though. Administrators say scheduling for the juniors and seniors at St. Joseph's Church has been a little difficult. Well, we're still working out some bugs there, but here at Prairie Rose, uh, walked into a couple classrooms, and if you did not know, you would have no idea that these students and teachers were here this morning for the first time. Put some thought into that. But Prairie Rose students were a little upset about one thing with their Trinity guests, that the seventh and eighth graders couldn't go out to recess with them. That was kind of disappointing to them, but other than that, um, they were really excited. They spent Thursday making posters for their lockers, banners for the school to welcome them. We're just happy that we're able to help. Dickinson Catholic School administrators say they're expecting more bumps in the road, but they're hoping there will be some normalcy for students by Wednesday. In Dickinson, I'm Marissa DeCandido reporting for NBC North Dakota News. Hitting the right notes isn't easy when a band can't play together. But support from across North Dakota has put the Trinity Band's movement back in motion. I got uh, emails and phone calls and, and text messages from, from all my colleagues that said, you know, whatever we can do to help, just let us know. The music community is, uh, we're small in number, we're kind of spread out all over Southwest North Dakota, but um, there's a lot of connection between everybody. The band almost fell flat when it lost all its instruments and music in last week's fire. We can either crumble under the pressure or we can stand up, not make excuses, and give our absolute best. But now they're practicing at Dickinson State with instruments from DSU and Jacobson Music Store in Dickinson. It's a wonderful partnership, demonstrates the uh, the core values of the Dickinson community of coming together and and uh, and believing in each other and and doing things uh, together. And while the Trinity Band is getting a lot of help from DSU, they're also getting their music from Dickinson High School and Century in Bismarck. I didn't think we were gonna be able to practice this fast, and I'm very grateful we were able to. Band, we were always a big family from the beginning and coming back together just has brought us closer because we know we need each other and we know we're always there for each other. The band has a festival performance next Monday. In Dickinson, I'm Marissa DeCandido reporting for NBC North Dakota News. The hallways are a little narrower and the classrooms are a little smaller. Of the Bible. But Trinity students are making the most of an unfortunate situation after a fire forced them out of their school. 
It's noisier because the walls aren't as thick, but after a while, we've gotten a lot used to it and are more respectful of each other's space because we don't have a lot. They've spent the past uh, five, and, five and a half plus years in a school building, and now they're in this church basement being taught in cubicle-like classrooms, nearly sitting on top of each other. And it takes a lot of patience, takes a lot of dedication, and discipline that I think our students have for the most part. Luckily, this shared space isn't permanent. Dickinson Catholic School officials say students will be back at Trinity this fall. I think we're all excited to uh, put this behind us and, and move forward, but I think under the circumstances, things have gone extremely well. The only usable part of the school is the area west of the auditorium, so Glazer says they'll have to use some portable classrooms, but students say they don't mind. It would have stunk to spend our senior year, the whole year down here, and being able to be in that building means a lot to all of us. And the best news for Trinity students, the school's auditorium will be ready for graduation on May 25th. Having our students walk across their stage, uh, I think is, is, is critical and just ending a, a very difficult spring on a very positive note. The school's motto since the fire has been tight and strong, and these students have proved it. In Dickinson, I'm Marissa DeCandido reporting for NBC North Dakota News. Every senior at Dickinson Trinity knew this day was coming. They just didn't know it would be here. I know when we first all heard about the fire, um, some of my friends, we were texting, and we said that we're walking across that stage even if we do it in gas masks. The smell of smoke still hangs in the air and lingers in the hallways. But that only ignited the school spirit amongst the graduating class. 2014, 2014, 2014. As graduates wrote down favorite memories from their time at Trinity, many weren't dwelling on the fire. I don't think the fire marks our high school years. But it was still in the back of many people's minds. A lot of people put a lot of sweat and tears into uh, making sure it's, it's as good as it can be today. And I think the auditorium, I guess if you walked in there today and you had never been here before, I don't know if you'd know anything had happened. While all of the Trinity seniors say it means a lot to be able to graduate from their building, many are also excited to receive their diplomas on the same stage as their parents and siblings. When the fire happened, I mean, we all thought it wasn't going to happen, so when I finally got to walk, found out I was going to walk across it, it just meant a lot because I was basically the last one to just get it finished and keep the tradition alive. And it was an emotional day for families, too. It means a lot because all of us, all of our other children got to walk across the Trinity stage. It's okay, take your time. And so for our, you know, last child to do it, it, it means a lot to us for all the hard work that everybody did put in to make this tape up. Day possible. There weren't many dry eyes in the auditorium as students heard their names and crossed the stage. Being in Trinity High School and being a Titan was way more than that fire. And as Dickinson Catholic School's president Steve Glosser told the class, the future starts today, not tomorrow. <laughs> and after this spring, there's only one way to describe Trinity's class of 2014, Titan Strong. In Dickinson, I'm Marissa DeCandido reporting for NBC North Dakota News.